distinguished delegate of Portugal to make a statement. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon to one and all. Respected Mr. President, uh, Honorable Mr. Secretary General, dear ambassadors, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to start by congratulating the President of the General Assembly and formulate my good wishes for the success of the work of this session in the year we mark the 71st anniversary of the United Nations. Coming on to the subject, Ms. President, Portugal's course of actions has been geared towards the defense of the universal and individual nature of all human rights. Combating violence against women takes on a clear priority on this context. I draw attention to the alarming number of cases of domestic violence across the most diverse locations and societies and social strata which cannot continue unpunished. Now I would like to tell the biggest issue that Portugal is facing and needs to be coped up with. It is the issue of FGM, that is sex trafficking. We should all advocate for a world where women and girls have control over their bodies and choices. FGM affects more than 200 million women and girls across the world. It is a human rights violation deeply rooted in gender equality. Female genital mutilation, it is the partial or complete removal of external female genitalia for non-medical reasons. It is mostly carried out without anesthetic in girls between infancy and at the age of 15. The girls are treated like prostitutes. They have to live a life filled with the participation of evil. Many countries have laws that either fully criminalize, decriminalize or legalize the sex trade. We should see how equality works to end sex trafficking. Society's understanding of human trafficking and prostitution needs to be changed. Women are human beings, not commodities to be sold and bought. Equality should advocate for the Nordic model or we can say the equality model. Uh, please ma'am. We should always partner up with the survivors. Survivors of sex trafficking are the real experts. Ms. President, uh, with great sorrow, I am saying a fact that we are living in a society where a porn star is accepted by all, but a poor rape victim is denied by the society. That should not be the case. We should change our way of thinking. Women are our future. We cannot think of a life without women. We have many examples of women who are at the top of this world in various fields. We can see the three examples. I thank the distinguished delegate of Portugal.